We've got to in our smaller schools where where we can get down to one entrance. Um, one entrance might be one of those solutions. If he had taken three more minutes to find an open door, police were there pretty quickly. But this school district has been doing a really good job. Well, that was Texas Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick earlier today calling for one point of entry at our nation's schools. It's an increased security protocol that our next guest has been calling for ever since he lost his daughter, Meadow, in the tragic 2018 shooting at the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. Well, joining us now is author of Why Meadow Died and Chief Public Safety Officer at Burna.com, Andrew Pollock. Andrew, thank you for joining us. Uh, so sorry for your tragic loss just a few years ago now. You've been using your daughter Meadows loss to talk about this one point of entry. Talk to me about that and why you think this may have changed the circumstances that we saw yesterday at Robb Elementary School. It, is me. It, it, it hurts my heart so much to see that pastor speak. You know, I, I was watching it. And to know what all those families are going through personally, it's just horrible. And it could have been, been all avoided. Uh, I don't know if people forget, but there was a shooting in Texas, a school shooting on May 18th of 2018, okay, in Texas. 10 uh, people were killed. I, I forget the exact amount of how many kids were killed. But Texas didn't learn anything from that shooting. Uh, here in Florida, I'm not, in Florida, after the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas shooting, uh, Governor Scott at the time put a commission together to look into all the failures. One of those failures, the killer, if you could believe it, drove up to the school in an Uber, walked right through a gate at the school that should have been locked and went in and killed those 17 people. Single point of entry, it doesn't cost much. It's, it's easy to implement. There's only one way in. Most schools have it. I don't know where this school's been for the last five years that they don't know about single point of entry. It really, it really sickens me because this was avoidable. The school shooting... Hmm. If there's a single point of entry, there's only one way into the school and one way out. There's two doors. They go through the first door where they would be asked to show ID and what their business is there. And then they could get through to the second door with a key fob and their ID. I, I don't know why it wasn't implemented. It really hurts that it wasn't. But right now, I want every parent tomorrow when they drop their kids off at school to make sure that your school has a single point of entry. Uh, that you can't go back to the school in 10 minutes and go to a side door or knock on it and get into a school. Hmm. Yeah, it's such an interesting point that, uh, you know, a lot of schools, we're seeing this one didn't. The fascinating thing is Rob Elementary School, they actually had a ton of security, other protocols in place. They had district hire four police officers, teachers receive emergency training, students go through drills and so forth. The list is pretty long. The school is actually on a lockdown at time, but now reports are coming out that this specific classroom where the shooting happened, they were watching a movie, which goes against security protocols and lockdown protocols because then the gunman could hear that movie going on when in the classroom the door wasn't locked how do we make sure that teachers are following these safety protocols i mean obviously incidents like this bring it to heightened awareness but how important is it that the whole school is on board parents it's all about the parents the parents need to get on board you need to be involved in your local community with the local school board if you have children and you really are concerned for their safety uh, it boils down to going to the school board meetings and asking the right questions. Another thing that you could do at schools that doesn't cost any money is what's called the hard corner. Uh, in Stoneman Douglas, we learned about this. The hard corner, I'll explain, is the, do is the wall that's where the door is, right against the wall. So the shooter went into the hallway and was able to shoot through the door, through the glass, and shoot children that were sitting at their desks. He actually came back and shot through the window again and killing these kids that were at their desks. Well, if the teacher wow. knew, if they hear shooting, it's very simple. Have the kids go up against that wall and they're safe. They can't be shot. It doesn't cost any money. And that could be implemented in every school. Andrew, I don't have a lot of time left, but I do want to ask you, you talked about parents being involved, asking the right questions. There's a lot of parents out there who are afraid to drop their kid off at school today. What can you give me real quick in 30 seconds, one or two questions that parents should be asking to their school boards, to their schools? Simple, single point of entry and armed police or 
armed guardians at the school, and we do away with a lot of these school shootings. There's no reason that courtrooms, airports, uh, banks have security and where we, we send our most precious things that, that mean the world to us shouldn't be armed, you know, armed security to defend them in case something like this happens. So those are the questions. That's your homework, parents, for tomorrow. Go to those schools and make sure your kids are safe. Andrew Pollock, thank you for being here with us and using your tragic story to try to help other parents and schools around the country. Um, and again, sorry for your loss of your daughter, Meadow. Thanks for being here with us. Thank you.